my name is Khadija Deko and I'm a final year textile design student here at Falmouth University from Nigeria and today I'll be taking you around to show you what a day in my life looks like. I wake up at least once a week by 8am and prepare for my studio weave group on Thursdays. I had more workshops and timetabled sessions in my first and second year. The first thing I do is open my curtains, as you can see, take a shower, brush my teeth. Um, I do this sometimes in silence while I play some lo-fi music in the background on other days. Meal planning is something that I struggle with, but I have gotten better over the years that I have been at university. I usually make breakfast to go in my crunch cup, which is basically just cereal and then milk. And then usually when I'm on campus, I buy a sandwich and a drink and usually crisps from the campus shop. For dinner, I make food to last the week on Sundays. I make things like chicken pie, pasta, lasagna or jollof rice. And usually I go to a shop in Truro to get all my food stuff like spices to make Nigerian meals. For transportation, I take the bus to Penryn campus, which is great as an international student because I don't have to worry about other forms of transport like cars. Um, I do sort of just buy like a bundle ticket, which usually costs me like around £50 a month just to go on campus. And then if I need to go to Truro, like I mentioned earlier, or just trips around Cornwall, I just buy tickets for the train. The building that I'm walking into is the FDI and this is where the fashion and textile students are based. I am on my way to the third year textile studio. In third year, we get our own space and tables. Uh, as you can see, I'm putting up some color work that I have done for my final project after doing visual research. I usually just go ahead and start preparing my colour palettes and then I proceed to dye these um, with my yarn in the dye lab. Getting materials like yarns are very easy as we have a fabric shop in the design centre and they are at a discounted price for students which is great because then you don't have to worry about buying more expensive yarns in other places or online. Other facilities we have access to is the natural dye garden, which is where we grow plants to dye fabric and yarns with. It's just excellent that there are both art shops on both campuses to easily buy sketchbooks, portfolios, markers and pens, etc. whenever I need to. Um, the art shop here in Falmouth, which I'm currently in, has a more expanded amount of supplies. The Falmouth art shop is a five minute walk from my home, so when I need specific um, items that I know that they probably won't have on the Penryn campus, I usually get them from the Falmouth campus and then take the bus to the Penryn campus. Falmouth has really nice beaches and I like to come here to de-stress after a really long day at uni. I also like to take walks around the town as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. This is usually how I end my day and see you around.